Hi friends, so this video is going to be on my favorite things from 2022. Now these are not necessarily things that launched last year, it's just products that I tried last year that I really loved. I'll have some hair care products, some skincare products, some makeup. So grab a drink, get cozy, and let's get into it. Let's start with the skincare items. Um, now these are just some of my favorites. I couldn't pick, I have a lot of favorites, but I just picked the top ones that I have repurchased over and over again. Um, so let's start with the first one. We'll start with the cleanser. We'll go in the order of the way we use them. Favorite cleanser of the year, absolute favorite. This is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. Now this is for oil control, but honestly, it does not dry out my skin. I have tried the non-foaming one, liked it, really liked it, but not as much as this. This is still my favorite cleanser, really gets everything off my face, does not strip my skin. And I have drier skin and this is just when it comes to liquid exfoliants, I'm in a committed relationship with the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Like we're pretty much married, I would say. There's no other liquid exfoliant for me. This is the only one. I love it. This is my second bottle. I noticed since using this, I use it. So I use it twice a week on nights when I don't use retinol, so don't mix. Um, but the next day after using this, my skin's super smooth. My makeup goes on like a dream. And just, I notice over time, my pores do stay cleaner longer. And I just love how it makes my skin look and feel. For vitamin C serums, I chose two. So the first one is the vitamin C serum by Drunk Elephant. I love this vitamin C serum. This is the C Firma. I think this is my third bottle. I love it. I friggin' love it. It's so close in formulation to the SkinCeutical C for Rulic, and I did notice a big difference in my skin while using this. But then I wanted to choose my own adventure and try a different one, and boy, was I happy with it. Um, the Sunday Riley CEO 50% Vitamin C Serum, fantastic vitamin C serum. There's a hydration factor to this that I don't get with this one. Um, when I put this on my skin, I do feel like my skin is a bit more hydrated, and this one is scented, so if you don't like scents, this might not be for you. It does have like an orange or mandarin smell to it. Um, but I did notice that this one does brighten my skin really nicely. Uh, so really love this. And both of these guys, the packaging is perfection when it comes to vitamin C serum. I'm a stickler for the packaging when it comes to the vitamin C stuff because vitamin C spoils really quickly or oxidizes. So you want it to be in an airtight, opaque container and the vitamin C spicy Riley, definitely airtight, opaque container love that and the uh, C Firma by Drunk Elephant also in an airtight container but they changed their packaging a little bit which I was really excited about so before it used to come the powder and the liquid used to come pre-mixed in the bottle so you just get the container like this and start pumping it out but the problem is the vitamin C would oxidize quicker because it was sitting in there for a while so they changed that and now you mix it yourself. People were losing their minds, not loving the new packaging. I was like, yes, please, because if you're gonna spend that much money on a vitamin C serum, you wanna make sure that the vitamin C doesn't oxidize. So for me, the new packaging, just mixing this with the powder, not a big deal for me to make sure that I get the freshest option of vitamin C. So love the new packaging, Drunk Elephant. Thank you very much. Uh, let's mosey on to hydrators, so hydrating serums. First one that obviously I was going to include because it's the best, it's the Aveeno Triple Oat Serum. If you haven't tried this one, my God, you're missing out. This is hydrating and moisturizing at the same time. It's so good and I think this one would be good for any skin type, like a dry combination, oily, sensitive. It's so good and it soothes the skin as well because of the oat. Whew, let me tell you, Loved it. This is my third bottle. Now, the only grievance, only grievance I have with this is in Canada, we have this with a dropper. And this dropper, do you see this? Nothing is coming out. I I just, I don't understand what the problem is. It's like they do this on purpose. Worst dropper I have ever used. In the UK, I believe, I think it's in the UK, it comes with a pump dispenser. Like, why, why can't we do that here? Like, get rid of this crappy dropper only grievance. Other than that, phenomenal. Next one is the La Roche-Posay Hylou B5 uh, Hydrating Serum. 
I love it. This one's a sample that I got. Um, I ordered another one because I love this so much, but what a difference this made in my skin when I use it. It's so nice and hydrating. Um, the only thing is it is scented. So if you're not a fan of scents in your skincare, this is not for you, but I just want to do a little bit. And like this dropper works so much better. So just put a little bit on the back of my hand to show you, but like, it's so hydrating and it just plumps up my skin so nicely, especially like once I put makeup on after this, it's just so nice. My skin's plump and hydrated. My makeup goes on so smoothly. Absolutely love it. When it comes to moisturizers, you can choose your own adventure here because I have a couple that are drugstore and a couple that are high end. So the first one I'll start with is the high end one and it is the Biosans Squalane Omega Repair Cream. I love this moisturizer. I did a review on it. It is so hydrating and moisturizing. When I use it as a nighttime moisturizer, I wake up and my skin is super plump and delightful and juicy and just moisturized. When I use it under makeup, my makeup lasts really long and it just glides on my skin really nicely because it does the job. If you have dry skin, I highly recommend this one and you wanna splurge a little bit, I highly recommend this one. It is phenomenal. The next moisturizer I didn't think I would like as much as I did. I liked it so much that I got a second one um, after I was done. And it's the Dr. Jard Ceramidin, Ceramidin. I forget how to say this or who am I kidding? I never found out how to say this, but Ceramidin, Ceramidin Cream. This one is fantastic. Um, it really does help moisturize and nourish your skin. If you have sensitive skin, I, this could be good for you. Again, any products you wanna try, if you are sensitive, just do a little patch test on your skin first to make sure that you don't have a reaction to it. Now, this really helps my makeup last throughout the day. I'll link the review I did on this down below if you wanna see it, but definitely this is one of my favorites from last year. Second tube, can't wait to use it. The next moisturizer is a drugstore one and it impressed me so much that I ended up getting the larger version. I originally got the small tube of this and I did, I think I reviewed it in one of my shorts and then I got the big one because it's so good. Great bang for your buck. If you are looking for something more affordable and you have dry skin, something that works, something that actually moisturizes, hydrates your skin, locks in that moisture, makes your makeup last throughout the day, really works with your skin to nourish it, this is it. Loved it. I think this is the best, the best drugstore moisturizer, best bang for your buck. It's fantastic. Give it a try if you haven't tried it. It's not scented, so it's, I would say it's good for sensitive skin as well. I think this will be too rich for uh, oily skin, even combination skin, but if you have normal to dry skin, this would be a fantastic option. The last product in the moisturizer category is the Cicaplast Balm B5. This is a fantastic product. I use it as a treatment, so like as a mask, an overnight mask. I will do my skincare, so I'll do my retinol or my exfoliant, whatever I'm using that night. Um, then I'll go in with hydrating serum and then I'll go in with my moisturizer. And after that, I put this on and this seals in all of that moisture and hydration and provides even more moisture to your skin. So at first when you put it on, you put a nice generous amount. When you put it on, your face will look white and pale because it has a white cast, but that will disappear. But who do you have to impress? You're going to bed, who cares? When you wake up the next day, your skin will look plump, delicious, juicy, and just ready for all of that makeup that you're gonna put on. It's gonna go on beautifully. I couldn't do a favorites video for 2022 without talking about sunblocks. So I'll talk about a few of the sunblocks that I absolutely love and will repurchase. First one is the Paula's Choice one. This one is tinted. So when I use this one in the summer, you gotta shake it first because it separates. So I use this in the summer when I use it, I just use a bit of concealer and no foundation and it just looks beautiful. So I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand so it's got a bit of that tint to it, but when you blend it in, it feels really nice and luxurious actually, I have to say. And it just goes on really nicely and blends in beautifully. And it doesn't have much coverage, but it just gives your skin a really nice tint, which I really like because in the summer, I don't really love wearing a lot of foundation. The next two sunscreens I'm going to talk about together because they're from the same brand. They're the super goop one. So this one is the sheer screen and this one is the unseen sunscreen love them the sheer screen let's talk about that first so this one comes in a cream form i didn't find a white cast with this but i am pretty pale so um so it comes in a cream and it's it feels very rich and luxurious honestly if you want to skip the moisturizer if you want to skip the moisturizer with this one whew, um 
you totally could. It does moisturize the skin and hydrate it really nicely and blends in super quick and has a really nice feel to it. Like my skin feels so good right now. But if you're worried about the um, having any white cast with this one, the Unseen uh, sunscreen is really great. It's clear, so it comes in a gel. This one you have to shake because it does separate. So um, make sure you shake it before. I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand. This one's really great, but I would say with this one, you do have to use a moisturizer first. Well, at least I like to use a moisturizer first um, because I want my skin to be nice and moisturized. Um, but this one feels like a primer. So it blends in really quickly and gets absorbed into the skin. It does not leave a greasy, oily feeling behind at all. Um, and it does leave my skin feeling like I have a primer on and makes the makeup go on really nicely. Um, I would say for when I go out and I'm wearing makeup, this is the one I use. This is the brush on block. It's 30 uh, SPF. It's a mineral uh, sunblock. It comes in a comes with a powder um, in, a, in a powder form and it comes with a brush and it just comes out I don't know if you guys can see it just comes out when you put it on your skin I got this at Costco great bang for your buck two of these I think came for like $30 really love this one highly recommend great to just brush on and reapply throughout the day if you're wearing makeup and now we move on to the makeup category and we'll start with foundation the first one is the Sephora best skin ever this one's a great one if you have, even if you have dry skin, but if you're like oily or combination, even normal, this one's really great. It has a satin finish. I have drier skin. I found this one worked really nicely. I just need to moisturize my skin. Um, need to make sure it's quite moisturized and hydrated before I apply it, but it lasts really nicely throughout the day. doesn't crease too much. It has a, a nice amount of shades. I think this one doesn't get enough hype. Um, it's it's a really good and affordable foundation so highly recommend this one if you haven't tried it yet it does oxidize so keep that in mind the next one is the Fenty Beauty Drops the easy drops my god this is a phenomenal phenomenal foundation why aren't we talking about this more like everything that woman does and I'm talking about Rihanna anything that woman does is just perfection these are hydrating and moisturizing and amazing. They go onto your skin so nicely. A lot of shade range options and it just lasts a really long time and you don't need to add too much. The coverage, I would say it's medium. It builds really well onto the skin and it just lasts really nicely. It doesn't crease. It's, it's a fantastic foundation. For concealers, two I'm going to talk about. First one is the high-end one and the next one will be the drugstore one Kosas the Kosas concealer the shade I have is 1.5 C really great doesn't doesn't crease and if you have dry skin this is really great for dry skin it's very moisturizing um, and it just blends really nicely into the skin the next one is the drugstore one which I love more than some of the high-end concealers that I've tried and it's the elf um, hydrating camo concealer it's so good. It just blends beautifully into the skin. It does increase. I'm wearing it right now and it just has such a nice finish to it and it is hydrating and it lasts really nicely throughout the day. There's one mascara I want to mention for 2022 and it's the Lancome Monsieur Big uh, Mascara and this is the brush that it comes with and honestly I'm wearing it right now. One coat of this mascara. Look at my lashes obsessed. I love how it makes them look. They're so full. It lengthens really well. It doesn't transfer and it doesn't flake and it lasts beautifully throughout the day and it's buildable. Absolutely love it. Um, if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. I haven't heard too much about it and I'm surprised because it works so well for these old peepers. If you have oily hair, I would recommend doing some sort of exfoliating scrub for your scalp once a month or so. So the one I use is by Briogeo and this is a scalp revival. It's a charcoal and coconut oil exfoliating um, shampoo. And it looks like this and it has little exfoliating charcoal pieces, I think in it. Anyway, it smells minty, it's delightful. So you don't put this throughout your whole hair. You just put this on the scalp, wash it, rinse it, and then go in with a shampoo to wash your hair. Um, I really like this one. I didn't notice a difference. I use it once a month. They say you can use it once a week. Honestly, um, it's not cheap. So I'm just going to use it sparingly. So once a month, I will go in with this just to get rid of some of that um, buildup on my scalp. Um, it also, Briogeo also has a really nice hair mask or hair treatment. This one is the Don't Despair Repair Mask. 
So after I wash my hair with shampoo, I use this instead of conditioner. So it comes in this little tub. It has a nice scent to it. It's, I don't know what I would call it, flowery, coconutty, summery scent. Um, but I put this in my hair and then I put one of those hair masks on, like those um, plastic ones. I forget what they're called right now, but you get the gist. I put that on, get out of the shower, sit around with this for about 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it out. My hair feels really smooth. It like takes out most of the tangles, not all, but most, because I do have damaged hair but it does feel my hair does feel healthier and looks really nice and shiny and just looks healthier when i use this the last product i want to talk about as part of my favorites video is the ghd curve wand um, this one is a tapered one so it's thicker at the base and thins out towards the tip this has been one of the best finds for me for last year i am someone that is not good at doing my hair like styling my hair i can do straight so i can straighten it with the with a straightener and i can put it up and that those are the two things that I can do. But with this, I can do this. I can curl my hair and make it look good. I get so many compliments when I style my hair with this. I have used a curling, um, a curling iron before and I always end up with weird curls or kinks in my hair and I've used the straightener to curl my hair and that one rips out my hair a lot. Well, I find that for me when I use it, it ripped out my hair a lot and it was just a battle and the curls just never ended up looking great but with this one is super easy it took me 15 to 20 minutes to do this to my hair and i just feel like you know i i look like i know what i'm doing when i use this my hair just looks a little more cute a little more zhuzhed a little nicer like i put some effort into it and i know what i'm doing but granted i do not know what i'm doing yet i'm still learning how to use this to perfect the curls with this one but for a beginner for a beginner, I think this is quite nice and I'm very happy with the results. I did do a review video on this one, which I will link down below, uh, where I also do a little demo on how I use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this was longer than my usual videos, uh, but these were just some really great products that I tried that I wanted to mention and share with you guys that I thought were worth trying. Um, also, let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any of these products and what your thoughts were on them. And let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to do or products you'd like me to review. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again and I will see you next time.